They also talk about uh, how race is merely cosmetic. Um, aren't you insulting all the intelligent people here and the 80% of African Americans who are Democrats by claiming that the current Democratic Party has anything to do with that Dixiecrat party from 50 years ago that was trying to stop them from voting? Aren't you conflating the word Democrat with progressive? They have utterly nothing to do with each other. The current Democratic Party has absolutely none of those values from 50 years ago, and you're pretending that they are guilty of something. Aren't you, aren't you trying to claim that Jesse Jackson is a dupe and shouldn't be rep uh, supporting the Democratic Party because Abraham Lincoln was a Republican and freed the slaves? Let me, um, let me try to tackle that very frontally. First of all, um, probably the biggest thing going for the big switch that I mentioned earlier is, are two facts, both of which are very powerful. The first is that whites in the South, who used to be Democrats, do now predominantly vote Republican. Yep. Right? Fact, yeah. Fact number two is that blacks, who used to vote Republican, now vote overwhelmingly Democratic. Yep. And operating on the assumption, which I think is reasonable, that people understand where their own interests lie, it would certainly be right that blacks currently see their identification and their interest in the Democratic Party. Now, here, is the, here are two interesting questions to ask. Number one, when did blacks switch from being Democrats, from being Republicans to being Democrats? The Democratic Party was the party of the Dixiecrats all the way through the 60s. And, and if what you say is true, that the blacks made a switch to their racial friends, it would appear that the black switch would have to come in the 70s and 80s, when blacks see these racists are now moving over there, so it makes sense for us to move over here. But in reality, blacks moved overwhelmingly to the Democratic Party in the 1930s. The black vote went from about 15% Democratic to about 70% Democratic within four years. In the, the places they could vote. That's right. But which here, was the North. Also in the Jackie Robinson was a Republican for darn good reason. That's absolutely right. But what I'm here's what I'm here's what I'm getting at. Wouldn't be today. Well, the, we'll, the, we'll, we can debate Jackie Robinson because it's always difficult to know what dead people would say. If Martin Luther King were alive today, Martin Luther King isn't alive today. Okay, but here's the point I'm getting at. The reason that blacks switched from the Republican Party to the Democratic Party had everything to do with the benefits of the New Deal and nothing to do with racism. In fact, in the yes, and in the South, two blacks start, switched to the, to, the, to the Democratic Party. It's not that blacks couldn't vote in the South. They said there were all kinds of barriers to black voting. They couldn't vote. Under FDR, there was a, blacks couldn't vote in the South at all. No blacks voted in the South. Very, very few. How many? Absolutely. How many? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Look, there were all kinds of poll taxes and barriers imposed by the Democrats on the black vote until the Democrats realized that they could get the black vote by offering jobs, welfare, retirement programs. Are you telling me that FDR in the South was telling blacks who were voting for the Democrats, you can't vote? Not true, not true. Blacks in the North and the South switched to the Democratic Party because of New Deal benefits. Many of them were very sad about doing it because they were leaving the party of emancipation and Lincoln and flinging themselves into the, into the party of the Ku Klux Klan and the Dixiecrats who were in the South and were in the Democratic Party. Exactly. So what I'm saying is it was a Faustian bargain in which you get economic benefits and at the same time you're in bed with the racists and you're on your own team. And I'm saying that's American history. Now, whites began to switch to the Republican Party, but much later. Whites began to switch to the Republican Party in droves in the 70s and 80s. Now, here's the point. If you look at, at racial opinion in the South, and there's a voluminous body of data on this, as racism in the South dramatically declines, the Southern identification with the Republican Party begins to increase. There's, a, there's an opposite track. Racism is declining in the South, 
and whites begin to move to the Republican Party. In fact, two scholars who've written a book about this trace that the least racist Southerners all became Republicans. That the, the racist, the poor white racist Democrat never became a Republican. He was a dug-in Democrat to the end of his days. So the Democratic Party remained the party of racism. And as the South became less agrarian, more prosperous, industry came to the South, the post-industrial society, the Republican appeal of equal opportunity, free markets, prosperity, appealed to Southerners. And that's why they, so what I'm getting at is that the progressives have sold the South on a guilt trip. Even this whole thing about, you know, the Civil War was really about slavery and the South did slavery. Wait a minute, again, the Northern Democrats protected slavery. The Civil War, the fight over slavery was between the Democratic Party, North and South, that protected it, and the Republican Party, which only was in the North, that opposed it. That's what that fight was about. It wasn't just, the North-South thing is now a disguise to hide the responsibility of a major political party that was the party of slavery for a hundred years. True or false?